Hey, Hannah. Hey, what? You want to go to the Goodwill Bins? Yes. Well, guess where I drove our bread truck to? The Goodwill Bins. Can we buy enough stuff to fill up the bread truck? Probably not, but we could sure try. Oh yeah. What have you been through? I'll take that one though. Starting off today at a bin that I don't particularly want, but this blue thing right here is an IKEA bag. Yay! Lots of good toy stuff here. Whoa! Bang a bag full of Beyblades. <laughs> it's the bag full of toys I like. Ooh. I came over here to find a bag for the Beyblade stuff. It's a little tight, but at least it's in a bag. But I also found this Thomas the Tank stuff. There's a bunch of branded stuff in here, and then uh, just some little pieces as well. So that's a good find. Just go ahead and grab that too. Wait, what? Pokemon and Beyblade cards. Wait, that's, I need that. We need that for the van, no way. This is wild. I haven't found a ton of clothes today, but very last second, I found two pairs of Lee jeans and a little pair of uh, vintage Levi's. So that's a pretty decent find. I'm happy about this one. So overall, pretty okay day. Check out what someone just handed me. I've actually never seen this person. A physical Mahjong set. It's really heavy, as you could probably imagine, but I think I'm gonna have to get it. I've just, I've never seen one, so that's pretty awesome. Put that in the bag. Oh yes. Holographic Pikachu. The shades. 
Call of Duty 2. Pat. See him. SpongeBob Connect 4. There's so much Beyblade here. Look at all this Beyblade. I'm picking them out the bag one by one. Make sure we don't have anything super special. They all seem to be from the same generation, which is okay. But sometimes there happens to be one older one in a mix. I'd love to find some older Beyblade. There's just so much. Wild. Oh, baby. I'm seeing some good ones. All right, I think we're down to the final bits. All right. No vintage. Oh, there's more. Hold on, there's more. <laughs> I just can't even get it all out. There we go. Beyblade. That might be my biggest Beyblade haul in a little while. That's a haul. You've got these retractable lockers. Those are my favorite. While we're here digging through Beyblade, boom, it's even got its clip. Oh, hey. Better test it. Seems good. Oh, it's got darts. Batteries are dead, so I can't shoot oh. you, but it's got darts. <laughs> I feel pretty happy about today because my goal is and has been to always come to the bins and go home with something I need for our van build. And that plumbing is going to do all right. It's not what I planned on using for the plumbing, but it'll it'll work. I can make it work. Also, I can actually use this it's longer than what I have. I use that for my VCR. I'll tell you what's really funny building out this bread truck that we've been driving around is we go to Home Depot constantly to buy supplies, to buy nails and screws. And at any given point, I could really just stop and buy several, several, several hundred dollars worth of stuff that I know we're going to need in the next week. And I keep getting tempted to do so, but the bins and shopping at the Goodwill bins here just regularly changes the way I buy things. Cause like we need some plumbing pipe, you know, several pretty short lengths just from here to there, from here to the drain pipe and stuff like that. And uh, there's a couple different solutions for that. And you know, this is one. I can very easily use this for parts of our water system that I at some point was probably gonna have to buy some. So we didn't pay anything for that. I mean, nothing. Yeah, like it's very, very it, doesn't, it doesn't weigh anything here at the bins. You pay a dollar fifty nine per pound. They raise our prices. How much was it when we moved here? I think it's dollar twenty nine yeah. or something. And like then 19. after a year or two, it was a dollar thirty nine, and they jumped a dollar fifty nine this year. Uh, what did you get? I got a bunch of shorts. So got two pairs of Lee shorts, and then two pairs of Levi shorts, which was pretty sweet. Uh, one's a pair of white, which is awesome. It's kind of a rare find. So that's all. Oh, that's really good. Those are Levi's. Yeah. That's a great find. Um, this is one of two or three Fortnite guns that. As soon as I buy it, put it in our antique mall, it sells for a yeah. good little bit, 25, 35. Uh, so that was, that's always great. That's well worth its weight. It costs two or three bucks. What's this? This, I was on the fence about it, but I didn't find a ton today. So I went ahead and got it. It's oh. like this slinky pearl vintage dress. Yeah. I thought it might be good for like a after party for a wedding or something like that. But Probably not too easy to see on camera, but every little pattern has a pearl yeah, attached to it. It's very nice. It's well made. That's cool. All right. Uh, you also got a pair of jeans, huh? I did. These are for color blocking. So just a staple piece that I always need. We bought SpongeBob Connect 4. It's kind of glorified nonsense, but like we kind of collect SpongeBob stuff, but not really, just very particular stuff. And we've long said we need to at least have a copy of Monopoly and et cetera, et cetera around partially for our second channel, which you can check out the link in the video's description. But um, we're pretty sure we're gonna start keeping one of every SpongeBob board game we can find. We're, we're pretty certain that we're gonna start doing that now because I've already sold all of them at least once. <laughs> And so now I'm just going to keep each one of the next one and then keep selling them after I find them. It is impressive how many we actually have found. Though. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> any of the staple board games, Life, Monopoly, Connect Four, that kind of stuff that you can think of, we've bought it and sold it at our antique mall. SpongeBob edition, mind you. So that's pretty cool. I, there were two of these in the bins today. Ooh. And we've been selling these for, depending on which one it is, 25. Some of the more rare ones could even get up to like 75. We've been selling a bunch. And so there were two today. One was bit in half. Oh. So I just bought that one. Uh, 
Surprise, Patrick. Hey! That's pretty good. Uh, and then... Zombie... There's a, I got a few Pokemon cards. A couple of them were hollow. That was pretty cool. Okay. But I think my find of the day... A whole bag full of Beyblade. I sell the Beyblade Launcher and Ripcord for between 6 and $10 a piece, depending on the set it's from and stuff like that. They sell like hotcakes that are at yeah. people too, so that's just a killer, killer, killer find. Um, Thomas Tank stuff. Yeah. So, free. Branded. This is uh, one of those rare days where almost everything I bought was actually for resale. Yeah. <laughs> I buy way more stuff for this van and for collecting at the bin, at the bins specifically. Uh, but it's good, it's good finds. What's your favorite thing you found? Um, I'm gonna go with the, the two Levi shorts because both of them individually are rare for their own reasons. White, just because yeah. white is hard to find. But then this one's got like this the um, exposed button fly, which I think is really cool. Yeah, well these will sell about as soon as you post them. Yeah. They're the right size. For sure. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, let's keep moving. We gotta run over to one of our antique malls right now, so stick around. Are right, you ready for some antique mall? Yeah! We're just gonna check on things and then we gotta pick up some money you know just regular antique mall stuff you know it's a good time to tell you that because it's time to pick up paychecks and stuff we actually bought this bread truck pretty much just with money that we've made from our antique malls what we've been doing for a few months is all our antique mall checks we just put them away and don't cash them just wait just a little bit and then take a stack of them cash them at once and then we bought the bread truck that's how we did it <laughs> saving that antique mall money i highly recommend it this goes over here. This goes over here. Oh no. They're all on the floor. Somebody's been here playing. Booth's not in too bad a shape today, but um, I did notice a few things that have sold. Sold a pair of shoes, which was awesome. I kind of want to get like a little formal like shoe stand for them so that they aren't just like scattered on the floor, but they're shoes, they're fine. But um, I did sell a couple of these little blue mason jar kind of things. Um, had a couple of them in here. So that's exciting. But um, yeah, overall, it's been a pretty decent weekend and it's not too destroyed. Just a few jeans that are obviously on the wrong way now. So they were either like looked at or tried on or something. And that's okay. It's very hard to do one handed. <laughs> uh, is this ours? I was going to say, I don't remember. I don't remember hanging that up. Kind of cool, though. Did you get the money taken care of? Are we rich? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to Walmart and going to go look at some water jugs so that we can put it under our sink and have some water supply going. So I need to measure how big this thing is so that we know what size water jug to get. It's looking like we are 19 and a half by 14 inches in that little space. So let's see what we can find. We're just shopping for some supplies for the van and stuff. And we've got these interesting size jugs that we're gonna use for our water and for our drain. Uh, I have basically, I have these, but they're not quite right for the cabinet we've built. One of them will be. I think I'm gonna be able to modify one, but that's gonna fill up the rest of the space pretty good. It's a good size. We're not looking for anything too big or ridiculous, and I think that's going to do it. The space dimensions? It is 19 and a half and 14 inches tall. Okay. So we've got it on width. We've got a little bit of a problem with this one, which is the one I had in mind for height. But I think we can make it work. Uh, this one's perfect. This one's less than 14 inches tall, and the width is like 10 inches. It's nothing. Uh, how many gallons is this? It does not make it abundantly clear. Here we go. On the bottom, four gallons. It's a lot less than I want. This is four gallons. This one is... Seven. Seven. I, I thought so. Because this, I have 
I have several of these at home, and these are seven gallons. Uh, but it's not quite a very good form factor. So we're gonna go with one of these. I've also got some door hinges. Uh, it's kind of annoying how many different hinges I have at home for stuff like this, and none of them are working for what we need for our cabinet. So these are gonna work great because they're really long. You looking up my nose? <laughs> now I am. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be such a weirdo, Hammond. I don't remember which key it is. It's the bendy one. All right, let's go into the bread truck. Here's the jug we bought. Uh, so today was pretty awesome for the van. We're not gonna have a lot of work to do in our van today, but I'll be able to use several, a uh, couple feet lengths of this pipe for our water system here in the van. That's awesome. Uh, got some water jugs and we're just kind of testing how they fit. The, our water system is not gonna be terribly complicated. The jug we bought today will be a fresh water tank and then the sink in the bathtub will drain down to a tank that'll actually be underneath the truck. Pretty typical thing for RVs, van conversions. And there's actually just an insane amount of space underneath this van. Tell them how we found this out, Hannah. Because whenever we were putting the ladder in, I almost sat completely crisscross applesauce underneath it. You sat <laughs> on the ground. I your... was on the ground. My head was like this, but I was sitting up. <laughs> There's so much room under the van. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, the RV stores that we visited on like a week ago's episode, right after we bought this, there was, there was all kinds of just like square water drain tanks, gray water tanks for that exact purpose. So we're gonna buy one of those and probably a little mounting bracket for it. And that's where our, our gray water is going to drain. Uh, but luckily the uh, Walmart and lots of other regular stores have so many water jugs of different sizes and shapes. So it's very cheap, uh, very cheap. How much did this cost today? 15 Four, bucks. 14, 15 bucks. So that's good. And it's seven gallons, which is standard for these water jugs. And uh, I think that'll do us well. Um, I don't know how much of that we'll drink opposed to just having drinking water with us. Uh, we certainly will be able to drink out of it. Everything will kind of stay clean. But, you know, with as low flow as our shower and sink are going to be, I think that seven gallons is going to go a pretty long way. Uh, it's probably going to be a little bit annoying because our, our, our shower and sink are both, at least at first, going to be foot pumped. So, you know, you pump your hair until it's wet, you scrub it in, then you pump and drain it out. You know, it's like, I don't know, have you ever had a camp shower, Hannah? Have you ever shower camped? I have not. Okay, it's, it's going to feel just like that. It's a little bit annoying, but it's effective. Like, yeah. it'll get you clean. But that's it. Uh, other than that, I did buy some hinges for the doors on the sink here, but it's not quite ready to go all together. We're actually, if you look down here, where the water jugs go, we thought we were going to be able to leave a couple drawers here so the bottom was storage and then this just is where the water went. But it's going to be much better for us to actually cut out the top of this one right here and then we're going to turn these drawers into a door just like this one and that's basically going to be one whole empty uh, cabinet and so that'd be pretty cool because then our water will easily fit uh, down in the bottom and then we'll probably just have a couple side shelves in here for cleaning chemicals and paper towels whatever else we want to keep in there so I, I will say before we get out of here I'm very thankful for the Goodwill bins that stuff like this shows up like it does uh, very happy about that but thanks you guys for watching definitely come back tomorrow uh, we've got some pretty cool builds and additions for the van in the coming week because I've got a bunch of Amazon parts that are going to finally start showing up uh, and when they get as, as soon as they get here I'm going to be rolling out to the van with a camera and filming some pretty cool stuff and then if all things go right in another week or so we should be getting on the road for our first trip in this thing and that's going to be a lot of fun tell me camping out of this thing will not just be an absolute ton of fun it's gonna be great yeah i think so too <laughs> it's not really gonna be camping it's glamping you, glamping for sure to the max but uh guys hit that subscribe button before we get out of here help us get to 10,000 subs we're on our way and if you're new to the channel and haven't hit that button yet pretty please hit it so uh obviously this little trip we're going to take here real soon i don't think we'll get to 10,000 by then but we have said pretty regularly that we want to take a big trip to celebrate 10,000 subs 
uh, go like visit some other YouTubers and do some other cool stuff. So help us get there so that we can make that happen. Uh, we do post daily videos on this channel, so make sure you come back tomorrow and hang out with us then. And until then, guys, peace out.